Buongiorno! I'm Chef Andy with andysbites.com. Tonight I'm going to make a turkey bolognese. It's a nice healthy version of turkey bolognese. I don't actually use dairy in it, but I do use some nutritional yeast. It gives it that nice dairy flavor. It's so delicious, it's super healthy, and I will have extra for meal prep. I'm also going to cook some broccolini with this, so I'll just clean that up and I'll roast it in the oven at the last minute so that it's nice and hot and charred and delicious. And then I have plenty of that for meal prep also. So stick with me and you'll see how we do this turkey bolognese. First thing I'm gonna do is turn the fire on on my pot. I just want it to be like medium high heat. So I'll chop my onion up into a medium to small dice and then I'll get that browned in the pan. Then I'll brown my turkey meat and the garlic at the same time. Um, I'm gonna put some olive oil in the pan. So I have my turkey meat, it's ground turkey breast. I'm gonna go ahead and seize it with salt and pepper. I like this baleen sea salt. I'm gonna go ahead and get my garlic chopped up, put the top part down and just press down. Then you've got your nice cloves. I'm gonna make garlic bread as well. You smash them. And you can peel the garlic. So as your onions cook, you want to stir them. You want them to get some color on them, but you don't want them to burn. And I'm going to go ahead and make a little bit of a space in the bottom of the pan for my meat. I'm going to put the meat in there. I'll go ahead and season the other side. And then you're going to break the meat up as it cooks. So this is turkey breast. It's lean. You can keep it lean like this. You can also add a splash of olive oil. Remember every tablespoon of olive oil is 140 calories. It might be 120, 140, it's around there, but it's a lot of calories. So that's every tablespoon. I probably put one tablespoon in there. And um, so just kind of keep track of how much fat you're adding back into this lean meat. I like it to have a little bit of fat. So, I'll use some olive oil. Olive oil lowers cholesterol. Olive oil is one of those healthy fats. The reason we like healthy fats is because sometimes healthy fats do benefit the body, like lowering cholesterol in the case of olive oil. Omega-3 fats help to build muscle and to burn fat. This is why I believe that like we should teach we should teach kids and adults how to eat nowadays because we have so much more information than we ever had and it's so confusing, you know? When do you eat fatty stuff? When do you eat lean stuff? Why would you eat lean stuff and add fat back into it? Uh, that's a whole nother video. <laughs> um, I'm gonna use a little bit of the garlic for this. I'm gonna save the rest of my garlic for my garlic bread. And actually, I'm, do, I'm doing my broccolini with some garlic and some blood oranges today. So I'll save a little bit of this for that. You want to cook the meat completely before you start adding any liquid into it. This reaction called the Maillard reaction that happens when you brown your meat and that adds flavor. So let it sit, let it brown. It'll do you good. Take your tomato paste and squirt a little bit on the bottom of the pan. Yeah, that's about three tablespoons there. I'm gonna actually grate this carrot into my bolognese. Grate it on the small grating, small holes. That's the carrot. Now for the celery, I'll go ahead and chop the celery up. I'm gonna go ahead and get started on my garlic bread. So for the garlic bread, you want to melt some butter and take your garlic. 
you put that into your butter. Next, I'll take some parsley. Put that in the butter. And I've got some Parmesan cheese. This is dairy-free Parmesan cheese. Then we have our garlic bread. So this is gluten-free garlic bread. We're gonna do a nice, toasty, melty, delicious garlic bread. Full disclosure, this is not the healthiest part of the meal. This smells so good. So now I'm gonna add some, some Italian seasoning. Stir this up, take your tomatoes. Now I'm using a couple of types of tomatoes. I've got crushed, fire roasted tomatoes. I've also got some petty diced, uh, fire roasted tomatoes with roasted garlic. Take this nutritional yeast, we'll stir this up. All right, cool, so I'm gonna put this on to simmer, and I'll come back with this in about 30 or 45 minutes. Boom, 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 So I've got the bolognese simmering. I've got the water on to boil behind me. That's gonna be for the pasta. I have my my garlic bread on a sheet tray ready to pop into the oven. Now I want to get my broccolini ready. Look for any fat, fat stalks and you cut those in half long ways. So cut that in half. This is a fat one. I can cut that one in half like that. The rest is good. So here we're going to take our broccolini and pop it onto the tray. Remember that garlic that we had earlier? I've got this garlic right here. It's fresh garlic, so I'm just gonna sprinkle it around. Now I've got, oh, you know what? This butter from the, from the garlic bread, I can put this on my broccolini. So just spread that around. I don't like to let things go to waste. So now, I've got my blood orange. Now there's flavor in the peel, and I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna grate the peel onto the broccolini. So now you've got all the zest. Just throw that onto your broccolini. Then take your, your, your blood orange, slice it, crossways so that you have nice round. And then we're just gonna lay this all over the, the broccolini. Take some olive oil, salt, and pepper. Cool, now we're gonna toss it around, mix up the butter, get the butter on some of the pieces of broccolini, get the salt and the pepper and the zest all distributed. Okay, now spread it all out. And this will go in the oven under the broiler for just about three to four minutes. Turn the broiler on. So this, this oven has a, a really fun, a really fun broiler setup. So this is the oven side. The oven's on for the garlic bread. We're gonna bake the garlic bread. This side is the broiler, and it has what's inside called the grill elevator. So you can turn the, you can adjust the, the, the level of it, and I'm gonna adjust it all the way up. Let it heat up, and then we'll pop that in there just before we're gonna eat. So I've got the broccolini, I've got the garlic bread. We're gonna stir our bolognese. It smells incredible. For the pasta, you want to have the water salty like the ocean. You want to let your water come up to a full boil before you add your salt. That'll prevent the bottom of your pan from getting scorched. 
what scorch pans? Have you ever seen on the bottom of your pan when it turns white and kind of looks like you've got clouds on the bottom of the pan? That's because you added your salt before the water was hot. You just set it in there. And we'll set a timer for eight minutes and we can check it. So in the meantime, we're gonna get some plates together. Uh, I'll get ready to put the, the garlic bread in the oven maybe in the last five minutes of the pasta cooking. I'll put the broccolini in in about the last four minutes of cooking, and then we're gonna be ready to eat. So I've got the timer on for, it says three minutes and 54 seconds for the pasta. I just checked the pasta, it's coming right along. Don't throw the pasta on the wall because then you just have pasta on the wall. Taste it. I actually like it about like this. I'm gonna put the garlic bread in the oven. The oven's set about 450 because I, I don't want it to broil from the top. I want it to, to roast and get nice and crunchy. And then this, I do want to roast from the top. This is the broccolini. So I'll throw this in here. That's broiling, I'm gonna drain the pasta, and we're rocking and rolling, getting ready to do it. My bolognese is ready. I'll give it a quick stir. I'll take my pasta. I found that about a cup to a cup and a half is a good serving of this bolognese. It has so much meat in it that that works out pretty well. So toss your pasta around. You can do fancy plating if you just take your ladle and you put the ladle, put the pasta into the ladle and give it a little spin and then kind of set it down right there, leaving a little bit of a hole for your bolognese. crunchy bits of the broccolini when it's nice and roasty. That was my timer for the broccolini. I'm gonna set this up here since it's hot and that's kind of my cooling rack. I'm gonna get the bread out. And then if you want to garnish, you can use some fresh oregano. The little fresh oregano leaves are really beautiful. Just throw some on the plate. All right, well, I think that's it. I'm about to go chow down on some turkey bolognese. I've got my blood orange broccolini and some gluten-free garlic bread. I'm Chef Andy with andysbites.com. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you again next time.